guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephanie and I am bringing you another review. So my last review that I did was the Triton Gamma headsets for the Xbox One and it went really well. I got a lot of great feedback from you guys. I got messages from you guys saying that you were purchasing it based on my review which made me so happy to hear that. So I wanted to do another review on another product that I recently just purchased which is the da 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 Squid Grips. Well this is just the sticker that it comes with but <laughs> um, here's the actual squid grips. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to get squid grips for a really long time. Um, if you don't know what squid grips are, um, they are um, little grips that you can uh, put onto your uh, Xbox One or PlayStation controller uh, to help with more serious gaming. Um, they're known for helping sweat resistance, you know, adds an extra grip to it, your hands are firmly on the controller, um, and it's also great because you can also customize your controller a little bit more to your liking. So, um, um, I've been wanting to get it for a really long time and I finally purchased it. Um, I believe that they're like $15 and then if you customize these stickers, they come with different colors. It's like an added $2. So I think all together with like shipping and stuff, it was like 17 something. So I mean, I personally think that it was worth the buy. I really like it. So I'm just going to kind of go over my pros and cons. There's not really that many cons for it. So first of all, application for it. It's really super easy. It took me two seconds. It's basically one big giant sticker starting from the front and all the way back to here. And it comes in two stickers. You peel it off and there's these tiny little holes here and you have to align the holes in with the um, line of the controller. So you just align the holes to that and then you stick it on like that and then you would push it back around the controller like so and then you push it and stick it down to the front of the controller like so and then it would be the same thing for the, the other side. Um, and then the pink little stickers you just stick on to the sides and on the front and then bada bing bada boom there you go. Um, now, a lot of people say that it doesn't help with the sweating of their hands. Um, there's kind of mixed reviews on that kind of stuff. My hands don't sweat when I game. Uh, I think it's more of a guy thing. That, I mean, I could be wrong. But they don't sweat, so I didn't really notice a difference. However, my boyfriend's hands do sweat when he's playing for long periods of time. And I've even noticed when he's playing on his PlayStation 4, he takes his hands and he's wiping it on his pants like every five seconds. And I'm like, dude, your hands are sweating, man. So one day he came over and he played Evolve for like 10 hours. And I'm like, how do you like the sweat grips? And he even said right away, my hands are not sweating as much with the, with using the sweat grips. Um, another question that I got when I first got them was... Um, does it make it bulky that your Xbox controller bulky because the Xbox one controllers are already kind of bulky um, it's like not even it's not even a centimeter I mean you can you see it there the sticker like it's not even that big to make a difference um, I, I did when I first use it it felt weird and then I played one game by the second game you barely you, you're already used to it you're like whatever it's part of the controller now it's not even anything to be that worthy about um, if you're nitpicky and somebody that's nitpicky that might be a con for you but it honestly I didn't I by the second game that I was playing I didn't even notice it but here's a pro for me is um, I feel like the Xbox one controller is really kind of slippery I don't know if that's the right word to use but I mean there's times when I'm getting aggravated or there's a jump scare moment or I'm trying to like finagle the controls and all of a sudden blah, 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 the controller falls out of my hand and drops because it's so kind of slippery um, and especially on the sides so for me it actually acts as a grip I feel like it's in my hand and it's sturdy and it ain't going anywhere um, also a pro for me is that I really like the fact that you can customize it um, and by putting these stickers on they come in different colors and obviously I chose pink I wanted a purple one, but they didn't have a purple one. I think they had like a, it was like a purple and like blue or something. I don't know. It just didn't look cool. So I was like, ah, I'll just get the pink. So I got the pink. I really suggest if you're somebody that plays games for long period, console games for long periods of time, um, I would definitely suggest getting the squid grips, um, especially if you have sweaty hands. I would definitely suggest getting the squid grips. Um, if you're somebody that doesn't play for long periods of times and you just kind of jump on and kind of mess around for a couple of hours and that's it, um, then I wouldn't even worry about it. But if you are somebody that does play for long hours of times, 
and you do have those sweaty hand problems, or if you notice your hands slip like mine, um, then I would suggest definitely getting it. I mean, I also like it because it kind of customizes your controller too as well. It makes it a little bit more you and more unique, and it's badass. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Sunday. And let me know in the comments below what you want me to review next for which product. It obviously would have to be game-related. And I will see you guys next week. Love ya. Bye!